Good morning and welcome to the channel. We're back at the bathroom renovation. Unfortunately, the audio for my intro for this video was, uh, it didn't show up at all, so I'm recording the intro now, even though that sneak peek, the shower is done. Today's video, we'll actually be doing the tiling that you see now completed. So we're gonna jump ahead into the video and I'll be walking through the store with a bucket of mortar right now. Okay, I've got my mortar mixed up here. Now the one more thing we do have to decide is what tile spacing to go with. 16, 3 16 and 8 quarter inch. Got a few different options here. Usually comes down to these two sizes, a 16th and an 8th. And for these tiles, we're gonna go with an 8th, I believe. So in preparation for all of this, I do like getting everything in order, setting up a little workstation like this. And that just allows me to uh, work a little more efficiently and cleaner. Cleaner usually means more efficient. Okay, these are the tiles. Prep some of those. I'm guessing those are three by 12. Pretty straightforward. Four by 12 probably. Four by 12, yeah. And I'm gonna start on this wall, I think. You'll remember in the last episode we shimmed out the wall an eighth of an inch. So now our tile has clearance where this flange flares out a little bit. Otherwise we would have hit the bottom of this flange on the tub. I'm gonna put you on a time lapse actually for this first wall. My last two pieces cut for this wall. Okay, that wall is done. Went pretty easy. There's very little cutting compared to like where the valves are and the studs and the plumbing and everything. So it went quickly. I do have to do the bottom right here, but I'll do that after I've done everything else just because it's a little more finicky. So. We're gonna tackle this big back wall, I think, next. So that main back wall is now done, and I've started this wall, which has more of the cutting, because the plumbing's coming through with the shower valve and everything. I'm just about to cut this shower valve here out. So how I'm gonna do it, I'm just gonna remove this mud guard. It's also the access for future whatever goes wrong. You can just pop off the flange cover on the valve itself and then have more access to the mechanisms within there without removing any tile. So we'll take that off. I already made marks where I have to cut it and that's my diameter I have to cut it. So I'll just connect those dots and then get on my wet saw and carve that out. It takes a little bit longer, but again, that's all I have with me at the moment. Like that. Got my piece cut there, so we'll see if it fits first try. Have to put this back on first. Yep, fits. Go ahead and back butter that. Just a bit of a messy process.
And then I'm actually gonna back butter the wall a little bit too. Just like that is fine. This is one of the more important pieces because the cover that goes on here should sit flush to seal properly. So I wanna make sure that these tiles are nice and flush, like that. Grab my sponge to clean up while as I go, like that. Spacers in. And there we go, it's on, looks good. I'm gonna mix up some more mortar and keep going here because I am on a bit of a time crunch. So I'm gonna finish up, but I'll give you an update when it's all done and when I'm cleaned up a little bit, give you the overall picture. This is it so far though. Okay, mortar done. I just finished putting these little pieces on just because if you do drywall, it's probably gonna mold over time or it's gonna get wet. So it's right near the top. So it's nice to have that tiled going down. Everything else is done. And it's pretty good. So it's gonna be a few days before I can get back here to grout. They'll be doing black grout to match the trim here as well as their fixtures are all like a matte black. So we'll be, we'll be doing a black grout as well. That's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Sunset.